Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Friday, December 31st, 2021. I'm Drunk Pokeru, and for the final time this year, tis beer time. Well, one more. <laughs> two days to, to, to the end of the year. Then we'll go back to one a day. It's probably for a while. Who knows? Uh, I have to work tomorrow, so not much of a New Year's celebration. Um, but we're pretty pretty laid back the last couple years anyway, so that's okay by us. We literally, we're going to celebrate tomorrow because I'm off Sunday, so there you go. Uh, Betty White passed away in 99. If you didn't know that, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Betty White was a funny lady. And, I mean, more important than that, she became a cultural touchstone for things that were good in this world. And in a world where a lot of things aren't good, let's celebrate that today. 99 years is a long time ago, but man, we wanted her to get to 100, didn't we? And I don't know why. Uh, Kat's Aunt Dee, Dee turned 100 on a boxing day there. So that's pretty cool. That was pretty neat. I never know anybody who was 100. That's a long time. I'm almost 50, and 100 seems like a long time. Granny was 96, so yeah, I'm done. To, you know, it was, that's gonna be, <laughs> I get sidetracked, but I, I like Betty White. I like what she represented, too. Um, now look what this beer represents. From our friends at Grain and Grit, G&G &G Beer Co. Here in Hamilton comes Bob Best English Ale. Used to be known as Bob Best Bitter, but Bob Best English Ale, it's, a, it's still a bitter. Um, I like the name change. I'm okay with that. 4.2%. Uh... I like the Stella beer. I think that this is going to be part of, not necessarily just this beer, the, the, this style is going to be part of the countdown this year. Um, as we're writing it, it should be ready next week. Sorry, I'm, things are just not easy right now. As you know, everybody's like that. Uh, but I really drank a lot of Milds and ESBs and Marzans uh, this year because there's something about them. Part of it is the low ABV. Part of it is the conversationality of the beer. Which it becomes like we keep saying part of your, your your event as opposed to the event itself. It's a beer you drink and you enjoy, but it just becomes part of the flow, and that's awesome. I, I think that it's a compliment to the beer that it's that good that you go, oh man, it's a good beer, and then you get back to your conversation, and that's what beer should be, right? Liquid libations. So, anyways, it smells good. Cheers, my friends, to Grain and Grit. Happy New Year to all my friends at Grain and Grit. It was nice to see the place today briefly, but uh, cheers. I mean, it's what it is, right? It's a biscuity, toasted malt body, notes of toffee and caramel. There's a nice bitterness on the back end. It's 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 a beer that gives you a bitterness, but it's not overwhelming bitterness like I saw an IPA bitterness. Um, yeah, it, it's it's a nice conversation beer, and that that's good. I bought four because. I figured A, short sure can, and B, I know I'm going to drink them. You know, I call them Sunday beers, and, and I love these low ABV beers on Sunday. I just kind of chill out and relax, and I hope that that's uh, something we can do more of this year. Kind of calm things down a bit, but yeah, there you go. New Year's Eve beer one, beer two coming right up. Um, I don't know, go look in the fridge, see what's there. But I hope you're having a good night. If you're staying in, awesome. If you're going out, please don't drink and drive. You know, I mean, you just don't do it. It's not cool. Uber, call a cab, get your mom to pick you up. I don't know, however you got to get home. Or stay over. Why don't you stay over? Okay? All right. Cheers, my friends. Enjoy your evening. Happy New Year. It's just a nice, solid, bitter. That's And thank you for making it bitter. <laughs>